Sun Feng used his sword to attack Yi Tian when he got close to him. Our boy easily dodges the attack. Sun Feng was shocked to see how fast Yi Tian was. He began to attack Yi Tian more aggressively. Our boy was not even bothered by Sun Feng's slashes. Sun Feng asked Yi Tian if his zodiac sign is that of a rat. He told Yi Tian that he's simply dodging without fighting back. Sun Feng got angry and carefully swung his sword at our boy. Yi Tian dodged the attack by bending his head but Sun Feng was able to cut part of his hair. Our boy clenched his fist and punched Sun Feng in his stomach. Sun Feng spat out some blood when he received the punch. Some bones in his body shattered and he got pushed back. The people at the plaza were shocked to see Sun Feng getting beat up. They could not believe that Sun Feng was taking blows from an unknown martial artist. With a smile on his face, Yi Tian asked Sun Feng if he still sees him as a rat. Sun Feng stood up and told Yi Tian that he is quite talented. He told him that he will no longer hold back. Immediately Sun Feng said this. He took a stance and gathered energy around him. He swung his sword and used a technique called Wind Slash. This technique sent multiple spinning slashes at Yi Tian. Our boy was surprised to see the technique. He quickly jumped and dodged the attack. One of the slashes cut the Lin family monument. The monument fell and shattered. We see Ming standing behind the monument. Ming was annoyed to see what happened. He could not believe that Sun Feng had the courage to destroy his family's merit monument. Yi Tian told Sun Feng that he has a remarkable sword skill. While doing his best to catch his breath, Sun Feng looked at Yi Tian with disbelief in his eyes. He could not believe that our boy was actually able to dodge his wind slash. Yi Tian told the loser that he enjoyed dragging their fight. Sun Feng could not believe what Yi Tian was saying. He asked Yi Tian if he prolonged the fight because he wanted to see the sword skill. Our boy smiled when he heard this. He told Sun Feng that he only fought him because he wanted to see the demonstration of his sword skill. He told him that he never saw him as an opponent because he is not worthy to be one. The sentence really got to Sun Feng. He jumped and tried to attack Yi Tian from above. The moment Sun Feng's sword came close to our boy, he used his bare knuckles to break the sword. Sun Feng was shocked to see this. He did not understand what was going on. Yi Tian grabbed the loser's face and smashed his head on the ground. The people were shocked to see this. They could not believe that a genius of the Iron Fong base has lost to an unknown martial artist. While looking at Sun Feng's body, Yi Tian smiled. He could not believe that he had to engage in such a boring fight. Xiao Yu was happy to see that Yi Tian actually won. She called Yi Tian an awesome individual. Yu Ling smiled when she saw that our boy overpowered Sun Feng. She assured herself that Yi Tian will belong to the martial pavilion. Yi Tian walked up to a table and raised it up. Underneath the table was the wind slash technique which Sun Feng promised Yi Tian. Our boy picked up the book and smiled. He thanked Sun Feng for his technique. While Yi Tian was looking at the skill book, Yu called out to him. Yi Tian turned around and smiled. Yi was shocked to see how strong her brother had become. She told Yi Tian that he is amazing. Our boy began to laugh when he heard this. Yu grabbed her brother's hand and asked him to help her become as strong as him. As Yi Tian and his sister walked away, Ming and Elder Zay watched them. Elder Zay told his master that Yi Tian actually won. Ming did not see this as a thing to celebrate because his family's merit monument fell. Elder Zay asked Ming for their next course of action. Ming told the elder that he does not need to guard him for a while. He asked Elder Zay to guard Yi Yu instead. He told him that the Sun family will not let the incident slide. The scene shifts and we are taken to Gale Wolf's mansion. Yi Tian was reading the wind slash technique. He was surprised to see that the technique could increase his attack power by sixfold. He realized that Sun Feng's attacks were strong because of his technique. Our boy placed the book down and stretched his body. He stood up and walked up to the window. While looking outside the window, Yi Tian opened his status window. He was surprised to see that he still had to wait 30 days before he could copy another talent. Yi Tian had forgotten about the drawback of his ability. When his ability becomes active again, Yi Tian plans to find Sun Feng and copy his mid-tier sword talent. If Yi Tian is able to copy the sword talent, he will be able to unleash the full potential of his Shadow Blade technique and the Wind Slash technique. Once Yi Tian's techniques improve, he will be able to compete with a Grandmaster. Our boy believes that he will finally be able to call himself a powerful individual if he is able to upgrade his strength. The scene shifts, and we see Yi Yu practicing her sword techniques on a dummy, Gale Wolf watched Yi Yu as she trained. After seeing the behaviors of different great families, Gale Wolf was certain that the Sun family would also come back for revenge. He realized that Yi Yu's life was in danger. After training for a while, 
Yu grabs a bottle of water to regain her energy. After drinking the water, Yu asked Gale Wolf to tell her why he is staring at her. Gale Wolf was surprised to see that Yu actually noticed that he was looking at her. He asked Yu to come close to him. Yu walked up to the captain and asked him if something is wrong. Gale Wolf gave Yu the necklace which the Marshall Pavilion gifted him. He asked her to never take off the necklace. Yi Yu who was oblivious to what was happening told Gale Wolf that the necklace is pretty. Gale Wolf warned Yu to never lose the necklace. Our girl thanked Gale Wolf and assured him that nothing will happen to the necklace. While Gale Wolf was talking to Yi Yu, we see his team's archer running to his mansion. The archer saw Gale Wolf standing outside his house. She told him that she has some information for him. Gale Wolf asked her if she was able to find out what the Sun family is up to. To Gale Wolf's surprise, the archer told him that the Sun family is looking around for shops because they want to set up a business. Gale Wolf realized that the Sun family is doing their best to keep calm. He realized that the family did not want to start killing until they set up a firm business in the Linhai base. Next to Gale Wolf's house, we see a man checking the trash bins in the area. This man turns out to be Elder Zay. A month later, we see Yi Tian step out of his building. Elder Zay was still pretending to be a trash collector. He looked at the trash in front of Yi Tian's building. Immediately Yi Tian stepped out of the building. He realized that there was something suspicious about the old trash collector. He quickly used his mental ability to check the elder. Elder Zay was shocked to see that Yi Tian was using a mental ability to check him. He could not understand how an elite martial warrior was able to use something only great martial warriors could use. Yi Tian walked forward after checking Elder Zay. Yi Tian had already discovered Elder Zay's identity. He was surprised to see that the Lin family actually sent a great martial warrior to guard his house. The scene shifts and we see our boy at the martial market. In the past month, Gale Wolf had gathered some information about the Sun family's background. He shared this information with Yi Tian. Gale Wolf told Yi Tian that the Sun family intermarry in order to maintain the purity of their sword talent. If any child is born with a defect, it will be secretly killed off. Yi Tian realized that this family might even be more crazy than the M.O. family at the Sun family store. We see Sun Fong welcoming people to the newly opened store. He told the people gathered in the area that all items in the store will be 50% off in order to celebrate the store's grand opening. A businessman congratulated Sun Fong on the opening of his family's store. After the man congratulated him, other people also greeted him. While the people were greeting Sun Fong, Yi Tian looked at him from afar. He looked at Sun Feng's status window. He raised his hand and activated his mental ability. He copied Sun Feng's sword talent. Now Yi Tian's sword talent has become a high-tier sword talent. With a smile on his face, Yi Tian wished Sun Feng an early death. The scene shifts and we see our boy in a cemetery with a flower bouquet in his hand. Yi Tian went to visit his parents' grave. Yi Tian revealed to his parents that he wants to take Yi to a better place. He told them that he wants to leave the Linhai base. With a smile on his face, Yi Tian told his parents that he came to see them in order to show them how much he has grown. While our boy was looking at his parents' pictures, someone appears behind him. Yi Tian immediately senses the man's presence and quickly brought out his weapon. He used his weapon to block the man's attack. The man was surprised to see that Yi Tian was actually able to react to his attack. He realized that Yi Tian did not defeat Sun Feng through luck. Yi Tian quickly realized that the man was the Sun family's dog. He told the man that he already expected him. Our boy used his sword to push the man back. The man quickly regained his composure and swung his sword. Yi Tian saw the man's blade coming closer to him. He quickly moved back. The man revealed to Yi Tian that he did not kill him after the duel in order to stop any rumors from circulating about the Sun family. The man asked Yi Tian to thank him for allowing him to live for another month. Immediately the man said this. He and Yi Tian rushed to attack each other. The man and Yi Tian attacked each other aggressively. The two men matched each other's speed in the fight. Our boy carefully blocked the man's attacks. While the two were fighting, the man pushed Yi Tian past his parents' grave. The impact of the men's fight pushed the bouquet away. Our boy quickly pushes the assassin back when he noticed this. The man told Yi Tian that his name is Qi Meng. He told him that he is Sun Feng's master. Qi Meng explained to Yi Tian that Sun Feng is like a son to him. With a creepy smile on his face, Qi Meng told our boy that he must die for injuring Sun Feng. Qi Meng told Yi Tian that he came to a perfect place to die. Our boy simply ignores Qi Meng and picks up the bouquet. He placed the bouquet in front of his parents' grave. Qi Meng told Yi Tian that he will bury him alongside his parents if he gets on his knees and beg for forgiveness. With a smile on his face, 
Chi Meng told Yi Tian that Yi will soon join him in hell. Our boy clenched his fist when he heard this. With a deadly look in his eyes, Yi Tian told Chi Ming that he will die for what he said. Our boy activated his apex tier speed talent and disappeared in front of Chi Ming. Chi Ming was shocked to see this. Before he could comprehend what was happening, Yi Tian appeared in front of him and kicked him in the stomach. Chi Ming screamed out in pain. He wanted to run away by jumping but Yi Tian simply went higher than him. Our boy grabbed Chi Ming's jacket and threw him with a crazy amount of energy. Chi Ming crashed into a field. When the dust in the area cleared up, we see Chi Ming lying on the ground. As Chi Ming's eyes slowly closed up, he saw our boy walking towards him. Chi Ming was terrified to see Yi Tian's strength. He believed that our boy was a grandmaster. After searching Chi Ming's dead body, Yi Tian found a skill called Twilight Blade. Our boy was certain that the skill would be good. He also took Chi Ming's blade because it was much better than his. Yi Tian was happy to see that he gained from the fight. When our boy looked up, he noticed that everywhere had gotten dark. Yi Tian began to run. He wanted to get home in order to avoid Yi Yu's nagging. Guys, we have come to the end of our video. If you guys want part 12 of this video, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for more recaps. See you guys later.